the UK is being buffeted by a perfect storm of problems, all which are causing coronavirus cases to soar. The UK is currently recording around 80,000 new daily cases and hospitalization rates are steadily rising. Amid this concerning trend, the government is so far resisting growing calls to enact its Plan B measure, which includes advice to work from home and compulsory masks. To make matters worse, there is a new strain of the Delta variant on our shores. It is informally referred to as Delta Plus or AY4. 2. According to Professor Tim Spector, lead scientist on the Zoe COVID study app, researchers have managed to establish the prevalence of this new variant thanks to the UK's world-beating genetic testing program. The variant is thought to be behind 10% of all new coronavirus cases, he reported. Over 50s will be able to have booster jabs earlier than planned in race to beat virus what's more, it's thought to be 10 to 165 percent more transmissible than Delta, which was much more transmissible than the original Wuhan variant, warned the Professor Spector. There are many factors that could be driving this new variant such as the emergence of high levels of infection and vaccinated mixing with the unvaccinated, he explained. This may explain why the UK is fermenting these new variants much more than other countries, warned Professor Spector. What are the symptoms to spot? Currently, there is not enough data to suggest the symptoms of the Delta Plus variant differ from previous strains. Stroke, the worst drink for increasing risk, advice vitamin D deficiency, the sign on your head, inside pancreatic cancer, two signs on your skin, tips, however, according to the data published to the Zoe COVID study app, which tracks the spread of the virus and vaccination rates from thousands of weekly users, there are five symptoms of coronavirus most commonly seen in the fully vaccinated population. According to Professor Spector, people can expect to experience flu and cold-like symptoms of COVID post-vaccination. The most commonly reported symptom is headache, followed by runny nose, sneezing, sore throat and a new, frequent cough. In response to the new variant and sharp rise in cases, Dr. Jenny Harries, chief executive of the UCSA, has urged those eligible to get vaccinated if they haven't already. She said, the public health advice is the same for all current variants. Get vaccinated and, for those eligible, come forward for your third or booster dose as appropriate as soon as you are called. Continue to exercise caution. Wear a mask in crowded spaces and, when meeting people indoors, open windows and doors to ventilate the room. If you have symptoms, take a PCR test and isolate at home until you receive a negative result. Booster eligibility It comes as 2 million eligible people will be invited to receive a COVID-19 booster jab from the NHS this week. The 2 million invites going out from today will be sent by letters, emails, and text messages, and anyone who is contacted is urged to get their booster as soon as possible. According to the NHS, around 7. 5 million people have already been invited by text, email, and letter encouraging them to book through the National Booking Service. How the booster vaccines work A coronavirus, COVID-19, booster vaccine dose helps improve the protection you have from your first two doses of the vaccine. It helps give you longer-term protection against getting seriously ill from COVID-19. The booster vaccine doses are available on the NHS for people most at risk from COVID-19 who have had a second dose of a vaccine at least six months ago.